Hey everyone, so today is a brand new bike day for me. So I have a brand new bike that I'm super excited to show you guys. And it's this, the Basso Diamante SV. And it's a pretty damn cool bike. First, Basso has completely redone the Diamante SV line. It's a completely look new look and feel. It's a completely new redesign and it's really focused on being super aero. And it absolutely is and it looks astonishing too. So there's a lot of new aero cool things on the bike. So first, drop chain stays. So like you see on many other aero bikes these days, it has now dropped C stays. Next, it's a completely integrated cockpit. It also has completely redesigned in proprietary uh, uh, handlebars and stem and all that good stuff. Also, it has absolutely zero cables showing. So all the cabling is hidden inside the frame from the handlebar straight to the stem and back through the bike. And one of the most prominent features of the bike is the new fork, which is much more thinner, but also more aero, since it allows more air to go around the tires. Speaking of tires, this bike has 32 millimeter clearance on the tires, so you can put some thick boys on there for a nice, comfortable road rides. For the seat post, they've really done a great seat post clamp that has this integrated kind of three bolt approach where it uh, has some rubber pieces inside of the seat post inside and it allows for a much more comfortable, relaxed ride because there's much more suspension feeling coming out of the seat post. And the paint is super unique. They use a paint that has ceramic nanoparticles in it that allows the aero to kind of go by the bike much easier, much quicker because it's a much more uniform paint job across the entire bike. So even the paint is uniform. And on this bike, I'm running the SRAM Force Access Group Set wide. So I have a 1036 in the rear and a 3648 in the front. So a really nice gear set for riding all day on this bike. Next, I also have the new Zip 303 tubeless wheels, which I'm super excited about. They're really unique. I'll make a whole new video on exactly why they're unique, but they're super comfortable to ride. So to really test the bike out, on its first ride, I'm gonna ride up my favorite mountain here in Salzburg called Hügel. So it's a beautiful climb just outside of the city in the German side of the border. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna ride up this and down it and uh, let's see how it goes. So that's the ascent. The bike isn't super aggressive. It's quite relaxed. The gearing is really nice. I haven't ridden the access wide yet, two by. So it's a really nice group set and just kind of floats up the climb. It's really quite nice. One of my favorite things about this bike is the paint job. The paint job is super crazy. It looks really cool in person. Uh, in video, you can't even capture how wild it is, but it's this blue purple kind of flip flop paint job and it just looks immaculate. So I'll show you it right now really quickly. You can see it completely swaps around as you go across the bike from blue to purple back to blue. The front has a really good version of it where you can see it completely changing from blue to purple around the front. It's really immaculate. It looks really great. I've read a few reviews online that people say the bike handles really well in the sense. It's super fast. It's very comfortable, so we're now gonna do the scent and see how comfortable the bike is.
So that was perfect. The descent was amazing. The bike rides perfectly downhill. Uh, the Zip 303, uh, the tubeless wheels, you can tell like the slightly lower pressure that you can run there really helps in the descents as you kind of glide down. Uh, the gearing was perfect. I was able to really pedal up and, and really get some speed on some of the flat parts. And the bike handled really, really well. Like overall, this felt, uh, like I said at the top of the climb, not super aggressive in the downhill. Like I'm not really like le leaned over, but I felt pretty comfortable, yet still kind of racy, which I like about this bike. So the pros so far, it's a beautiful bike. Second, it's walking uphill. Like it literally just goes uphill really easily. Uh, thanks to hopefully the group set a bit. And then third, it just glides and it's comfortable. Like it just, this is a very comfortable feeling bike. Not super aggressive, but just right there in the middle where you feel really good on it. So uh, yeah, that's my first ride on this thing and uh, hopefully many more rides and many more videos with this bike in it. So make sure you guys like and subscribe uh, and hopefully I'll start making some more videos around some bike tech and stuff like that. So if you enjoy it, uh, there'll be more. All right, see ya. Thank you.